Peace and blessings. This is Nubia I of the Blackberry Beauty Holistic Academy, Ancient African Healing for the Modern Sister. Peace and blessings, everyone. So it's Tuesday, and I wanted to let you all know that I'm actually going on vacation, my husband and I. We are actually going to North Carolina. So yay, we're on vacation. <laughs> I'm so happy to be on vacation. Like, I can't even tell you because it's just... I, I, I need it. I deserve it. <laughs> I've earned it, you know. But first, before we go any long, any further, I want you to notice this beautiful jewelry that I am wearing. Isn't this necklace fly? Don't you love the bracelets to go with it? It is by beautiful Zit sister. Her name is Kimberly Zenobia and Floretta. So I guess it's two people that make it. Designers are Kimberly Zenobia and Fl Floretta. And her company is called BDB jewelry B D B's jewelry and I love it she sent me a, she sent me this jewelry you know I've been actually watching looking at her jewelry for the longest time on Facebook and she's such a supporter of urban kryptonite and the work that I do and I knew she made jewelry just a conscious sister as a matter of fact I love the model the model says inspired for the natural woman so I feel like that's me and she gave me a card a bright beautiful thank you uh, Nubia for the special things you do love and blessings bees the bees jewelry and I just love it I mean look it's, isn't this colors are just these are so my colors the greens and kind of oranges and earth tones but then kind of with some little brightness to it like I'm just so feeling it so I wanted to tell you all and just come on and show you that so yes, we will be in North Carolina for about a week. We're going to stay for a whole week. As many of you know, or maybe some of you don't know, we actually purchased 18.5 acres of land in North Carolina, and we want to be with the land. You know, we, we're, we're missing our land. We're missing that connection to the land, and we want to be on it. And even though I checked the weather, and it's going to be raining in North Carolina, occasional thunderstorms, it's not going to stop us. We are going to be on the land and make sure I do some videos from the land so we can, you can, I can just, we can just share that experience with you. Um, also, too, as many of you know, I have a private coaching group, uh, Wild Women Who Run With The Womb, a $37 a month membership group, and anybody can join. I really encourage women to join. It is a group. It's a group for black women to come together, but it's also a very much of a program. So we have beautiful things that is laid out for you, a different series, right? It's different subjects, something we're working on together. It includes private videos that I don't put up on Facebook. It includes worksheets. It includes uh, uh, all kinds of just beautiful things, one-on-one, uh, -on -one. I mean, conference calls, private conference calls, group conference calls, everything. But Anyway, I'm saying all that to say that uh, this series, for the May series, is called Getting Out in Nature. And so, I don't know, like, how did we just happen to book tickets to North Carolina, you know, for May when we're in Getting Out in Nature? So, how can we get out in nature on 18.5 acres of land? How much more nature can we have? And so I wanted today to talk to you a little bit about this idea of getting out in nature and the importance, I believe, of getting out in nature and what it really means for a goddess and, a, and the gods, you know. Yesterday I had a wonderful, wonderful consultation with a brother. So for brothers, if you don't know, I do consultations with brothers as well. Before I even talk about getting out of nature, let me talk a little bit about just this idea of relationships and black love. Because as many of you know, I'm also doing my May intensive, which is going on now. And, it's, and, it's, and the, the intensive uh, subject is called, it's all about the womb, holy and sacred, sacred relationships. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that, getting out of nature, and... Um, and what that really means to me. So it was so nice to talk to a brother, somebody that, I mean, this brother say, because of, you know, watching my videos, he takes sea salt bath, he gets out in nature, he, uh, he, he dabbled into raw foodism, and he wants to continue to do it and, and, you know, go back to it. It was so refreshing. So for you sisters out there that think there's nobody that's your vibrational frequency, that there are no black men who want to do this veganism or vegetarianism or raw foodism, please know that it's not true. That there's no brothers that would want to go hiking with you or camping or getting out in nature or walking or just sitting in the sun. 
I just want you to know that it's not true. I just want you to know, and when you are ready that the divine king is coming for you, you stay on your game, you be truthful, you be honest, you love yourself and your natural African beautiful black self, whether you're light, brown, dark, in between, whether you're Latina black or you, you know, Asian black or you <laughs> whether you're a Hebrew Israelite, a Rasta woman, a Christian woman, a comedic woman, you know, it's so many, if I feel an Islamic woman, you know, it's somebody there for you. And as long as we queens hold ourselves in reverence, hold ourselves with our heads high, know who we are, love ourselves, don't fall for the okie doke. Because that's what the brother said. I like your honesty, your truthful, your, your truth, your realness. And it is so it's so wonderful to be myself. It's so wonderful to love who I what I am. Now you know every once in a while I'm gonna comment, people be like, girl, look at you, you know, you dark or you're not pretty or you're this or you're that. I, you know what, yo, when I read those comments, it don't even bother me. Because I know. I know that when I look in the mirror, I like what I see. I like what I see. I like the changes, the things that go on. I accept myself. But more than that, I think that I'm beautiful. Because I believe that beauty is not just physical beautiful, not just this outer side, not just this external, which I pretty much do like and wouldn't want to be anything else. But the inner beauty that shines, that's what makes us such goddess women. So many men want natural women. So many men love women with natural hair, women with natural uh, natural skin, and women with natural, that wear natural products and eat natural foods. Do you know, black woman, do you know how much of an asset you are to a man when you are a righteous woman, when you are a goddess woman, when you love yourself, when you care about yourself? Do you know how much he want to put a ring on it and somebody said he wants to wife you? Do you know that? Because, and it's not about him, you know, finding you, like you got to change all these things to make yourself a certain way to find a husband. No, I'm not even saying that. I'm saying because you are that way, men and women and children actually will all fall at your feet. But black men are looking for a partner. They want a smart woman, a woman who has knowledge of self, a woman who's comfortable in her skin. A woman who loves who she is. A woman who cares for others. More importantly, a woman who cares for them, is down for them, loves them, that's smart, that thinks about business, that wants to invest, that wants to create a community, that wants to create a black town. They love that. That wants to wear beautiful natural jewelry. They want it, sisters. I tell you, I know it. And don't feel discouraged if you are in your late 40s. Like, I, I got married at 48 years old, right? And I've been dating him in September of 2016. will make six years that me and this brother has been together. So don't get discouraged if you're over 50 or if you're even 60. When you are ready, when it is time, and if that's what you want, you're going to get it. As long as you just focus on making yourself the best you you could be, that's for you, so you could feel good. Think about it. If you, if you, whatever you're doing, and you make you feel good, and you're vibrating because you know good and feeling good and fun is a high vibrational frequency, and you're feeling all great and you're feeling all good, you're gonna attract whoever and whatever you want. And I'm not saying that that individual is coming and they're going to be perfect or that you have to wait till you're at, reach the perfection or reach perfection in general to even meet the person. I'm saying to you that the universe welcomes your kind of you, you know, your kind of style, your kind of vibration. There's somebody that loves you. There's somebody that is so attracted to you, my sister. And I get to talk to brothers like that every day. So I am blessed. I am blessed. I never thought I wouldn't have a man. I never thought that I wouldn't get married. Although, y'all, I look at my ring every day. It is still like a feeling I can't explain to have that ring on your finger. There is a feeling, and, and I, I hope I'm using the right words. There's a feeling of, 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 of exhaling. <sighs> you know, you just you feel like you can exhale. There's a feeling of security. There's a feeling of comfort, of, of feeling settled. And, you know, now you're not worried about if he loves me or what, is he going to marry me. Now you're focused on what can we do together? What can we do for each other? What can we do for our communities? What can we do to keep the marriage happy and loving and 
one of them is going on vacation together, so we're very excited. So I'm going to be in North Carolina. I didn't plan on doing a meetup, but maybe one will happen. So we'll see. We're going to be in the Raleigh Durham area. So if you are in the Raleigh Durham area, you know, leave a message. If maybe we'll meet up. If I do a meetup, we'll meet at a restaurant and go eat. So if you know a vegetarian restaurant, that I mean a vegan restaurant or a raw food restaurant would be even better. I, maybe we'll meet up. So. But I just wanted to remind you that, that, you know, the joy and happiness that I feel, it was already within me. And if a man knows, I mean, like, my, that brother, I point that way because my husband's in the house, but that brother knew. He knew I better put it on the ring on and I better get it before somebody else does. And you got to feel like that about yourself as a woman, especially as a black woman, a natural woman, a holistic woman, a healer woman. You know, you got to feel that good about yourself and everything else will flow. So yeah, so it's so nice. So this idea, like the brother was saying, you know, sitting out in the sun or getting out of nature. Sisters, I'm telling you, the, when I want to look my most beautiful, right? When I want to up my vibrational rate, when I want to be glowing and shining, when I want, when I want to look, when I want, I, I call it actually a, a, a beauty secret. I get out of nature. I'm not, I've never been as more beautiful than when I come back out from nature, whether that's hiking in the woods, whether that's sitting by the ocean or swimming in it, whether that's going to lakes or rivers, whether that's just sitting in the sun in my backyard, on my front porch if you have that, on the stoop if you're in, if you're in New York, you know, or in the East Coast, you know, or in a park. It is just so uplifting. You know, I, I, there's a lot about me. I mean, I, I really do have to tell you, I feel natural. As I get older, I want to be more natural. I don't like to wear bras. <laughs> I only wear organic underwear, you know, and I just love it. I mean, everything's not totally natural, but I do my best, you know, and I, and I just want to feel good, and I want to inspire you to feel good as well. And so I want to thank you. You know, I'm doing the water only hair washing, and I love this thing. I've been doing it for seven months straight. I'm actually wearing my hair. If you see my bun I'm wearing every day, it is my protective style. I, I did some mini braids, so I got lots of mini braids. And then I just I put them up in a ponytail and a bun, and I wear that every day. I think I'm going to go on. I, it's going to be, I, I'm, I plan on doing it for the whole month of May, but I'm actually going to do May, June, and July. I'm pretty sure. So um, I love it. It's a, it's a classy style. It's an easy style. It's a fun style. My hair is still natural. It's tucked away and left alone, and I feel so naturally happy. I really see my own evolution. And that's a good thing. Are you seeing your own evolution? Are you giving yourself props? Are you rewarding yourself when you do something that you really want to do? So know that. Know that your relationship with yourself, your relationship with nature, determines your relationship with everything around you. Don't feel discouraged. Feel encouraged today. I hope that this video inspires you. There's not really anything I really wanted to say per se. I do want to remind everybody that, and I'm going to, on the website, you're going to be able to go to it after this video, and the June Intensive, remember, it's all about raw foods. I'm teaching it from um, an Afrocentric perspective. I'm teaching it for our bodies as African, or people of African descent. I'm teaching raw food from that perspective. It's an all new program. It's brand new. I think you will love it. The information, the camaraderie of the group, it's $97. It doesn't start till the first week, the first Friday, the first Friday in June. And so I'm going to put it on the website now. I'm looking for 100 women. Girl, y'all, it's summertime, okay? So we want to be beautiful and glow. And some people want to lose a few pounds. Some people want to gain a few pounds, you know? It's so, I'm going to make sure you know, there's a cat that likes to come around and he likes to jump on that roof and come down and make sure he just don't jump on my head, okay? Because I'm a cat, I'm a Leo, I'm a double Leo, for those that don't know, because somebody asked that. I am a Leo. Can't you tell I'm a Leo? <laughs> don't I act like a Leo? <laughs> You know, it's okay. I like it. I love being a Leo. Like, it, it, I couldn't have picked the more perfect uh, sign for me to be, which in actuality, on a spiritual level, I'm sure that I did pick it. 
that we all picked the sign, we all picked our parents, we all picked the place that we were born and location. Find out why. Why did you choose the body, the color of your skin, the, the texture of your hair? On a spiritual, metaphysical level, why did you come in the way you came? What are the benefits, the advantages of being that way? You know, we're so shamed and being overly melanated, right? We're so dark, but that melanin is more like, I know for me, if somebody said to me, Nubio, what do you think your best feature is? I would say in a minute, it's the color of my skin. For me, my darkness is what attracts people. My darkness is what people comment on, the color of my skin. That's my greatest feature. I mean, to me, I mean, some people might say, uh, Anyway, some people might say a lot of other things, but for me, I feel like it's my blessing. Yours may be the color of your skin, whether it's brown or light, maybe the color, maybe your hair texture may be. Also, I do love my hair texture as well, but it's the color of my skin, the darkness, the richness, the smoothness. Like, I love that. What do you love about yourself? What do you think is your greatest feature? I want you to leave it in the comment box, especially because I know that black women are watching. I would love to hear it because it's going to make other people, other sisters that are beautiful and black or but may not think that they're beautiful and black, really look at themselves in a different way. So name what you believe is your greatest feature or features as a black woman. So be specific. Is it your hair? Is it the color of your skin, the complexion? Is it the is it your the smoothness of your skin? Is it your body? Some people say, oh, my, my body's my you know my best feature. You know, what is it for to you? This is not about vanity. Okay, maybe it is. <laughs> but this is about really raising the esteem level because when you feel really good about yourself, you're gonna attract people that wanna be around you and that wanna feel good about you. But I really want us to get on this raw food thing. I know that you can do it again. Remember, you might just do it for the 30 days. You might do it for forever. It, whatever it is, at least if you're curious. And, and, and I want you to know I'm taking beginners as well as I'm taking an intermediate level of raw foodist as well as I'm taking advanced. So everybody, there's something for everybody. I mean, I usually open up the raw food for just my sisters, but brothers, brothers, if you wanted to join, I mean, brothers that are really in touch with their balance, their size, and their feminine side. You know, when I say balance and in touch with your feminine side, I'm not saying that you're feminine. I'm saying that I believe that when a man sits out in nature, when a man um, uh, makes food for themselves or prepares food, when a man, uh, you know, goes hiking, when a man, uh, you know, when a man uh, fast or even pray, I believe that that man is really getting in touch with his feminine side. When a man is able to take instruction from a woman, knowing that she's not trying to uh, usurp his authority or his manhood. If you are that kind of brother, you feel free to join the Royal Food Intensive because this is about us. You know what I want to? I was thinking, I know that I always say, you know, this is for black women, this is for black women, this is for women, this is for black women. But I want you to know that I'm all about black relationships and I'm all about black love. I know that from a financial perspective, from an economic perspective, from our financial, just from financial literacy alone, just from building our communities and, and keeping our money in our communities, our dollars, I know that relationships where a black man and a black woman is married, those children usually are more secure and you're able to build wealth faster and better and keep it longer and leave it for your next generation. So to leave a legacy. You know, I know that there is a war on the destruction, and it is a war, and there's the, this, this uh, destruction of the black family, of a black man and a black woman, even of straight black men and women together. And I have nothing against anybody that's not. I'm saying to you that I see the attack on the, the, the black family. And I know that even though my man and I, I have my a daughter, he has three children, grown children, and I have a daughter, that's our family, so we're merging our families together. But I know that there's younger people that's gonna get married to me. I want you to have those beautiful black children and raise them to love themselves and feel good. 
there's power in the black man and the black woman being together. I feel like that's why the media tries to pump to you that you don't really need a black man. You could date outside your race. If you want to do that, that's up to you. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm saying I'm promoting healthy black relationships between the black man and the black woman. Again, if that doesn't fit you and you're watching, you don't really have to make a comment because it's not going against you. It's my own belief. When I see a black man and a black woman in a black family, oh, wait a second. They're walking down the street together or going to the circus as a family or going out to eat or going to a festival. It is just the biggest turn on I've ever seen. It's just to me, it excites me. Why can't we, our culture is so rich, you know, we want to say that, and even other black, you know, black people in the diaspora, you know, I'm all about black is black, whether it's black in Brazil, black in Nigeria, black in Brooklyn, black in California, if you're black, you're black, but I realize that there's a lot of people in the society that wants to let think that black Americans specifically don't have a culture. If you ain't never been to the South, if you ain't never been to the Carolinas or Georgia or Mississippi or Alabama or New Orleans, then you ain't really seen black culture. Black American culture is rich. Black American culture really is African culture. And sometimes black Americans not even know it. So I want to be a proud black American woman and, and to merge with my black European women and my black uh, Brazilian women and my black you know, African women, am I, I know that we have something special. So even when I teach, if I, it may like, people might say, oh, well, I'm not really interested in being a raw foodist. I don't think that I'm going to take that intensive. It's always more with me. It's, it's always, I'm using, I'm wanting to create a better black woman so that she can be a better black role model for her children, for her husband. So I, I use all these things. I believe that if we got our food together as black women, if we got out in nature more as black women, if we healed our womb as black women, you know, if we clean house as black women, you know, if we, if we had our own businesses as black women, if we thought more about our money as black women, we would actually change the, the trajectory with what, I, with what I see of the black family. Because the woman is everything, but the man is too. So I say that to you to say, I'm really creating a balance. I like balance. I like, wouldn't it be nice, sisters, if we did do an intensive, or well, we're going to do the intensive, the raw food intensive, and black men came in and they told you, and they started posting, because you know, you can post on our group page, the secret group page, and they started posting the pictures of black women and how much, and start telling you in the group that they love you and they think you are beautiful and what it takes and why they want to be with you and why they want to marry you. Wouldn't that be great? So I'm really moving forward towards the emergence. Not now, this is uh, 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 the Black Mary Beauty, Ancient African Healing for the Modern Sister is totally and definitely dedicated to black women. But for this raw food one, I think just one out of 12 intensives, I'm inviting black men as well. Because you know what I want from you brothers? We need you to big us up. We need you to tell us how wonderful we are and why you love being with us and only us. <laughs> okay, I said it. What? I said it, okay? So um, I'm really feeling it. You know, there's holy and sacred relationships. I think that... Uh, I, I, I just say, look, be wise. See what the what they're pushing on these TV shows like Scandal. I know Scandal's over. Yo, I ain't never saw one episode, but I know the premise. Or I guess Empire is another one. See the kind of agendas that they're pushing. It doesn't seem like it's about a black man and a black woman and a black family. And it doesn't seem it's about us creating more babies and you know I think that we can't stop there's not enough people are like oh there's a lot of black babies and there's a lot of black babies with no family and there's a lot of black women who will never have babies there's a lot of black women who can't have babies so I feel like that the fact is that we still kind of create a generation and a better generation than ourselves so the black family to me is everything like I and, and the black woman and man together, oh, we talk about God in the flesh. And then the child is the trinity, which means that you can manifest whatever you want instantly. So I'm about metaphysics. I'm about African people in the diaspora. I'm about health and longevity. I'm about naturalness and fun and joy. And I'm about love. And so I want you to know that. So 
I just, I, you know, it's just an inspirational video. But again, my um, the new intensive is going to be on the website, so please take advantage. Also, I want to remind you that my sister is doing numerology readings. At this end of this month, it's going back to regular price. She is the bomb. Remember, y'all was all down in that other video? And now, not the last one. That's when I was up because I had the reading by her. She's phenomenal. Why don't you just go to her website? You don't have to purchase anything. Just go look at it. Numerology Cafe. www. Excuse me. Numerology Cafe. I, I wouldn't recommend it to you if I didn't think she was good. Also, Let's get these products. Let's get the products. And look at this is African black soap, and this one is peach essential oil. Oh, like I said, these are so good. When you buy, you tell me. You don't even have to open it to smell the deliciousness of this. So this is what I wash my face with. This is what I wash my body with. This is what I feel like is keeping my skin so clear. I mean, I break out because sometimes I don't do right. You know, I don't eat right. I stress that I don't get enough sleep. And but this stuff, oh, this will clear it up in a minute. And also, you know, just wanted to remind you that we have shea butters. Now, this shea butter is totally mixed and whipped and, and souffléed. <laughs> and this is actually a lavender. You know, lavender is just all that. And then, don't forget the mist. You know, this is what I put. So I wash my face with the black soap. And then I do a clay mask, which I don't have out here, but we have wonderful clay masks. That's my favorite thing. I will do a clay mask every day, sometimes twice a day. If I'm going out for the evening, I will do one in the morning during the day, and then I'll go out. I, I want to do a refresher on my face. I'll do a clay mask, the bentonite clay toothpaste. I actually use the toothpaste every day. First, I do oil pulling, which is to take sesame oil and squish it in my mouth for 20 minutes every single day. It keeps my teeth white, and then I brush it with the bentonite clay toothpaste. Y'all, talk about summer and beautiful and beautifying yourself. It is so wonderful. And so, um, so I do, so I do the black soap, and then I do a clay mask. And then I put, uh, I use the, this um, shea butter as a moisturizer. You just need a tiny bit for the moisturizer, and then I, I set it with this spray. I set it. I set it with this spray. So this is my setting spray. And this spray here is lavender, aloe vera, and a few other ingredients that's listed, but I'm not going to give them away right now. And uh, oh my God, so it's like a setting, and it just protects you from the sun. It brings more moisture to your skin. Like, I love my products, and I want you to buy them. Thank you for those that are purchasing them. Remember, when you buy them, my husband and I, we make sure we put in a good luck charm, or African charms that are considered good luck charms in different parts of the uh, different parts of the continent of Africa. I understand that Africa is made up of many countries, but when black Americans say Africa, we are connecting to the motherland in general. It's not that we're ignorant and we don't know that there's many countries. You know, it's interesting that Africans always say to me, oh, you know, you all say Africa like it's one country, but Africa is made of many diverse people. But it's interesting that when I, this is what I, some people will comment on other videos. It's interesting you say that because uh, I met a couple of Africans, especially a brother from the Congo, I'll never forget it. He said, I've been to East, West, North, and South, and he said Africans are very similar no matter where you go. Maybe not speak the same language, maybe not share the same exact customs, but the similar, there's a, a warmth and a love, there's a connection. He is an African born in the Congo, he feels throughout the continent. You know, it's the same thing that people try to say, you know, well, Africans will say, well, African Americans are different from us. And Caribbeans will say, well, Caribbeans people are different from African Americans. Really? Because when I see it, I see the similarities. I see the Africanness in all of them. And what, I'm going to do a video on what I believe is the, 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 the string that runs through all of us as African people. Don't allow people to make you want to point out the differences. I believe that others, the people that are not black, they want you to want, they want you Africans to believe that you're different. So they can appropriate or misappropriate, but no, appropriate your culture and make you feel special. But in actuality, they'll take everything from you as well. Caribbean people, they want you to feel like you're better than African Americans so that you can separate from us and we have that disunity because together we are stronger. And black Latinas, oh, they really want you to believe that you speak a whole nother language that you are not like us. And this is the most ridiculous thing. We have a rich, proud culture as African Americans, and I'm going to share it with you. And I, and, and I always say, 
you know, my father was a Trini, I was from Trinidad. So I am, I mean, I got the Caribbean too, you know, but I, I like I said, I wasn't raised by him. I didn't, wasn't raised in the culture. So of course I have a connection to my African-American roots, but in actuality, I'm African, <laughs> period, hey. So anyway, also me and my man, we are, we are, he just bought um, as a gift for us, we bought the, uh, we didn't get it yet, but the DNA testing, the African ancestry DNA testing. So soon, I guess six weeks, I think it takes, but first we have to get the kit. And once we get the kit, we have to swab, and then we send it back, and I think it takes six weeks to get the results. So soon I will know what part of the continent which country on the continent that I mostly, uh, that I come from, that my, where my lineage, lineage is, or my heritage is. And so what I want to, besides me, you writing your, your attributes and what you think your best features are as a black woman, I would like you to comment on, I love, especially if you're African, because Africans love to say, Africans know where African Americans are from by looking at them, and I believe you, so I ain't, I'm not going to doubt you, I believe that is an expertise that you have, but even if you're not African and you're black from the, from the, uh, the UK or black from the States, or although a lot of UK people are from Africa, um, I want you to guess, what do you think uh, the DNA is going to show? What part of the continent am I from? Do you think it's Ghana? Do you think it's Nigeria? Do you think it's Mali? Do you think it's the Ivory Coast? Do you think it's East African? Do you, you, know, do you think I'm from South Africa? Is it Zimbabwe? I know people try to say most Africans when they were taken and enslaved came from the west coast of Africa. But mm, we'll see, right? So what do you think? Take a guess. Where, where do I look like I'm from? Let me let you get a good look. Okay, check out the side. Okay, look at that. Okay, look at that. <laughs> Okay, where do you think I'm from? Now, I wonder, you know, I know my father's a Trini, so I'm, I'm, I'm figuring that a lot of, I notice a lot of Jamaicans are from Nigeria. They're, they're descendants of Nigerians. So I don't know, maybe Trinis have a place where they came in. I don't know if it's Angola, I'm not really sure. And then my mother's from the Carolinas, her people. My, my grandmother was born and raised in North Carolina. And so, and so my ancestors on that side. So we will see, we will see. But y'all guess, 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 guess. I'm so excited. I would be bona fide that, right? You know, I know my husband, he's a lot lighter than me. He's just praying he's from some part of the continent, period, okay? He's like, please. <laughs> he's like, I don't want to know how much percentage of European I am. I don't know what percentage of African I am. Now, I'm feeling pretty confident, you know, that I'm going to be a lot African. I'm hoping in the 90 percentile, but, you know, I know it could it could turn around and, and not be, but I don't think so. I feel it in my bones, right? So, yeah, just embracing who and what we are and the beauty of who and what we are, and I'm going to share more of that as far as what I see as the similarities between Africans born on the continent, Africans from the Caribbean and Africans from America and 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 what I feel like we have you don't know a lot of y'all don't really know African American culture I mean if you're from straight from the Caribbean or straight from Africa because you think it's different it's not I don't know how you can't see it the way we dance the way we wear our hair but you you see that but I think it's the other values you don't see we grew up with values in the South you know, we believed in so many things. And education, as much as black people, a lot of a lot of black folks be like, oh, well, black Americans don't care about education as much as Africans or Caribbean. So not true. Do you know how many black colleges, historically black colleges and universities are in the South? Do you know how many educated black people come out from the southern parts of the United States? Are you kidding? <laughs> Do you know that after slavery, when we were set free as African Americans, the first thing we went ran to do was find our family and our kin, and the second thing was learn how to read and write. So whoever says it doesn't take time. You are not different from me. You are me and I am you. And if we remember that, we will be stronger together and weaker apart. And I'm all about strength in, the, in our communities and in ourselves. So, recap. Get out in nature. Recap. Strong black relationships do matter. Recap.
the raw food intensive starts the first Friday in June, but you can actually purchase the cart, the, the intensive now. Also, Wild Women Who Run With The Womb, the next intensive, I'm sorry, the next series in Wild Women Who Run With The Womb, the $37 more membership group, will be Sensuality, Sexuality, and Adornment. What? Sensuality, sexuality, and dormant. Don't you, don't you feel it? Adornment, sensuality, sexuality. Okay, you get it. <laughs> I know you do. And um, y'all, I'm just so extra happy today. And you know why? I mean, it's beautiful. The weather, the sun, the breeze. But you know how good all women feel, and men too, and children included, when we're going on vacation, or as my folks in the UK say, going on holiday, right? We're going on holiday. We're on holiday. How good does that feel? How good does that feel? I love you all with all my heart. Don't forget the Blackberry Beauty products. If you go to my website, you'll see it. it's called Africa 7 Beauty. You click in and it'll take you to where the products are. And don't forget the Numerology Cafe is on my website. If you click in, it'll take you to the Numerology Cafe. Um, remember that my website is in the description box at www.blackberrybeauty.com. I love you with all of my heart. I thank you for watching my videos. I thank you when you get excited and I, I upload one because I get excited when I upload one as well. And even though we're, we're leaving, we're going to leave about later on today, uh, to travel, I still had to make a video. I, I was in the mood is what I told my husband. And don't forget this sister's beautiful jewelry. I'll leave her information in the description box. BDB's jewelry inspired by, for the natural woman. Designers are Kemley, Zenobia, and Floretta. And they, oh, they out of Chicago. Okay, they out of Chicago. I want to go to Chicago. I like her. I really want to go to Chicago. So, I got folks in Chicago from my group, Wild Women Who Run With The Womb, and I really want to visit, so that'll happen soon. And I'll keep you posted on the August a Natural Hair Expo in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm so excited about being in Atlanta. I'm going to take my husband with me. We're going to bring out all our products, so he'll be selling those while I'm doing my talk. And um, I know I'm going to do a meetup when we get there. I got to, okay? I love you all with all my heart. The next video you'll see me in, I'll be in North Carolina. And uh, stay tuned. I'm going to take you all with me. This is Nubia I of the Blackberry Beauty Holistic Academy, Ancient African Healing for the Modern Sister. Peace and blessings.